Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Is there a piece of hair sticking up there? <laughs> um, this is your girl, Be Nice Tea, coming straight at you from the CPT, the city that I love the most because they pay my R-E-N-T, and I have a lot of F-R-E-Z and Z's here. So it's your girl, Be Nice, coming at you from Channel 54. I'm going to save you guys from the rest of the intro because it is quite long. All right, let's get it started. I'm glad it's Friday. We made it through the week, and your girl made it to work on time. I'm going to share with you guys what happened to me yesterday, but let's get these songs, songs started. Our K-pop song is If You Love Me by N.S. Gyeonggi, Y-O-O-N, hyphen G-I, and it's featuring Jay Park as the rapper. And I like this song. I think you guys are going to like it. Um, and our BTS song is Blue and Gray. It's kind of slower. It's a slower, kind of melancholy song, but I like it. I think you guys will like it. And um, our Selena song is a disco medley. It is in English, but she does sing a lot of the disco favorites. So, hope you guys enjoy our musical selection for today. And, um, okay, so, yesterday, you know, I'm guilty. Y'all know about me and my time management and getting to work on time. So, the boss has pulled me into the office, to the conference room. And we had a little meeting to discuss my tardies and absences. So I need to improve on that. So I will do that. That is my goal. It's been my goal for years. But when you get pulled into the office and you get that warning meeting, you better get, get your butt in gear and get to it. So today I made it to work at 7.57. Yeah. So little by little. All right. Um, so that was that. So I got to work on that. And then um, I also wanted to share, um, I think it was... Last year, I think it happened to me here at work, where I had a little altercation with one of my co-workers. And mind you, this co-worker, um, we were cool. Like, I considered her a, fr her a friend, you know, we would share snacks. And if I went to the store, I know that she likes these banana Laffy Taffy, I would get it for her. She would get me like popcorn and stuff, and we would share. So, I would think we're friends, huh? Anything over food, we friends, amigas. Anyways. So what happened was um, I had to send an email out and so I had to send it to um, her and also her boss. So the reason why I sent it to her boss is because it was, um, we needed to expedite it. So um, she got mad at me for, she got mad at me for um, sending it to her boss and not giving her the heads up. She was like, why are you trying to be sneaky? And, you know, I was like, I wasn't trying to be sneaky. I was just, you know, including your boss because it's one, a matter that needed to be expedited. So she got a lot of upset and, you know, and stuff. And um, I was in the hallway on her side and she came up to me and she was angry. And she was like, why did you do that? I thought, you, I thought we were better than that. I thought we were friends. I go, what are you talking about? And she said about that email. Why did you have to go over my head and go to my boss? I go, oh, I had to include him in it because we needed to expedite that. And she goes, well, why are you trying to hide it from me? I said, if I was trying to hide it from you, I would have included you in the email, but I did. I wasn't trying to be sneaky or anything. So, you know, she said a few words that hurt my feelings. You know, she was like, you're malicious and you're cruel and I can't believe you did that. And this is in the main hallway where everybody can hear. So I'm standing there, cool, calm, you know, I'm not upset, you know, and I told her, you know what? I'm sorry you feel that way, but those were not my intentions. I was just trying to get it done because my boss asked me to expedite it. So she went on and on and was saying, you know, I see how you are, you're malicious. You know, you um, try to go over my head. I thought we were better than that. We could have discussed this. You didn't have to go to my boss, blah, 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 you know? And so I just let her run on, you know, cause what, what would it have done? Would it have made a difference? if I were to go back at her and yell at her the way she was yelling at me? I mean, where would we get, really? Nowhere. You know, I would've let my, I would've let my, um, what should I say? My aggression get the best of me, but I didn't. I remained calm, you know? And so from that day on, I didn't speak to her. That was last year. Because for me, it's better for me to just move on and um, not dwell on it and not let her get the best of me, you know? But when I came back to my desk, you know, I was upset. And you know, I was like really, really just trying to calm myself down. But did I show her that? No. We're in a professional setting. We're in a, the workplace. I don't need to do that. 
So I could have done a lot of things. I could have yelled back at her, but I chose not to. I could have touched her, but I chose not to. I could have um, totally stopped going over there on her side, you know, as the months passed on, but I chose not to. So what I'm trying to say is, um, you know, we're not always going to agree with everybody that we come in contact with. We're going to have our ups and downs with people, but the way that we, you know, react to it will show a lot of about your character. And then you got to think too, you got to think fast. Is this worth it? Is this going to be worth, you know, an argument? Is it going to be worth having to go down to HR because we're yelling and at each other and bothering the professional workplace? No. So what did I do? I came back to my side. I chose to, um, you know, just avoid her, avoid the situation. You know, I didn't hate her. Did I dislike her? Yes, I did. I didn't deserve anything that she did to me. Did I write up a complaint? No. Could I have? Yes. I wanted to, let me tell you. But I said to myself, you know what? It's not worth it. So I came back to my side and, um, you know, she was angry at me and, and I let her be angry at me. And then a couple of months later, out of the blue, you know, I don't know if it was because COVID or whatever, but she was like, hey, Bernice, how's it going? And I was, I looked to the left and the right. And I said, oh, I'm fine. Thank you. I acted like normal, you know. I'm not going to let other people hinder me or hinder my progress or hinder the way I feel as a person. I'm not going to let her stop me from continuing to be me, continuing to do my work as, you know, a CUSD employee. And I wasn't going to let her hinder the way other people perceive me because I'm me and I ain't trying to be nobody else but me. So I bumped into her a few times downstairs, um, like three times in a month. And I was like, wow. You know, I'm going to be honest with you. I was like, is the Lord trying to tell me to go and um, be her friend? You know, but um, I just let her be. So whenever she sees me, she's like, hey, how's it going? I'm like, I'm fine. Thanks. You know, I'm cordial. And I don't feel like I need to do anything else. You know, she let herself be known as a type of person that she wants everybody to see her as. And I portrayed myself as a kind of person that I want everybody else to see me as. If I know she's going to be someplace, I'll just, you know, like kind of like avoid her. But I'm not going to let her stop me from going on her side. Or I'm not going to let her stop me from going to places. Because, um, yeah, to me it's not worth it. So I wanted to share that because it was heavy on my mind the other day. So if you guys have that kind of situation where you know you're going to be at a place where there's someone that you're going to dislike, don't let that stop you. Do you. You go because that's something you want to do. Like myself, am I going to stop coming to work because I feel like I'm going to bump into her? Heck no. I got to do me. So that's my message today, guys. I don't know why I wanted to share that, but I felt that I needed to share it. And uh, I shared it with my family and I'm sharing it with all of you. So... If you guys, um, you know, get into a little something, something, we are not going to get along with everybody in our lives, in our workplace, you know, and everything. So just do you, you know, if you can avoid them, avoid them. Don't let them stop you from doing what is normally what you do in your life, in your schedule. So on this happy, fantastic Friday, I wanted to leave that message with you guys. And also, don't forget to check out our songs, because those three songs, I really like them. And I know I tell you guys this all the time, every day. I really like them, but I do. I like the songs. All right, everybody, have a good one. Sorry I was getting so serious, but it just felt like I just needed to share that message with you guys. So if you guys have any, you know, comments or anything like that, you know, just comment below. Hope everyone has a fantastic Friday. Get that weekend started. Let's hope that um, tomorrow is a, a good day as we start our weekend, you know. And right now, I just wanted to say thank you to my homegirl, Teresa, for my shirt. Bring Goku. Yeah, Demon Slayer. And I'm going to go ahead and take a bite of this. It's snack time. And I'm going to work on being on time. Yeah. No more of this uh, I'm tardy. Okay, y'all. Have a good one. And... TT, you know what's up. Bam. Salonier. Oh, uh, channel 54. Alright, I'm out.